Hey Clay with Yard Bark Lawn Solutions. Uh, got something in the mail the other day. Uh, uh, All American Sharpener. Um, so haven't used it yet. Gonna do uh, do maybe I'll do a video on it. I, I think um, I got it in the mail. Uh, gosh, several days ago, and I had attempted to make a video then. And um, it was a disaster because I was trying to use my phone. GoPro was dead, uh, so it, it ended up being a a disaster. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, show you guys real quick. I'm sure you've seen a million of them. Uh, so yeah. Um, 5005 edition is what this one is gen 2 i guess from they're a little longer the arm i guess is a little bit longer um on on the gen 2 that way a little more a little more versatile it'll, it'll do uh mulching blades and uh, all of that so uh i'm gonna try to set it up here that way you guys can take a take a look at it uh that's that's the little deal there uh so all american sharpener um really really well made uh situation here i've been checking it out i've got this thing on here i haven't had a chance to uh, i mean i'll put my blade in it for just a minute the other day and um uh, so i'm gonna be buying like a tool chest for my storage in here for my my little shop area as you can see I, as that's how I operate is out of a little uh, 12 by 12 by 30 uh, shop and so I'm gonna get a tool chest uh, thinking about a Milwaukee tool chest it's got a flat top on it stuff like that um, haven't bought it yet it'll be a day or two before I do that and once I get it mounted and everything maybe I'll make a video of that thing in action I'm planning to mount the thing on top of that flat top and kind of killing two birds with one stone with it uh, because I need a it's got drawers and everything for tools and this that and the other uh, and uh, yeah so that, that'll be great for the shop here and the other day I went ahead too and I'll show you guys this other little thing. It's kind of a double, double whammy here on this video. Uh, put in a couple of shelves uh, in the God, it's hot in there. In the storage. Um, hopefully, you guys can see it pretty well. I'm gonna turn this thing around. There you go. Um, one is for the aerosols, fluids, oils, this, that, and the other. You know, it has a paper towel rack. Uh, I'm gonna try to reach in there grab this thing boom bam paper you know your shop towels here it's got a little work area um, a little work area there um, those kind of lock in with the little pins and that one over there I'm not gonna attempt to try to fumble over that mower to get to it but it does the same thing uh, but it's uh, as far as the flip down little table little work area Man, these things are awesome. I couldn't find, if I had had it to do over again, I'd probably order uh, from the, the one there that you're looking at for the tools. It's probably a little bit more, um, to, in my opinion, was a little bit, the construction on it's a little better. That's from a company called Torax. Uh, Phoenix USA, I guess, puts that one out. Now this one here, the one with the fluids and all that, is uh is great too it's made by pit pal now they did not have a tool situation like the one over there and so i f happened to run across the tow racks and i don't know if tow racks has a, a fluid situation like this one um here but hopefully it, they would you know that's that's the reason but, but i'd really like that tow racks one over there quite a lot um all the wrenches that you see there um I got one missing because I was a little shy on a set there. I need to buy a single wrench, I guess. Those are all Milwaukee wrenches. I uh, bought a bunch of Milwaukee tools uh, needlessly the other day and went ahead and spent money that I regret and whatnot. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I say I regret it. I don't. I love the tools, man. I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I love the tools, and everything's great. All they're labeled is the deal of that top shelf with the wrenches and screwdrivers. Screwdrivers is kind of plug and play. There's nothing there. But one side is metric. One side over there is on the right. There is uh, your your standard, which I thought was cool that they took the time to go ahead and uh, you know label everything. Now the bottom where the where you can barely see uh, stuff sticking out of there uh, is pliers and stuff like that. None of that's labeled. You just put what you want in there. But uh, pretty happy, pretty happy about that. I, I was searching high and low for a couple of weeks, uh, trying to trying for dear life to to t find some sort of situation for my tools on board. Um, which was a nightmare because I, I I looked at the Milwaukee packouts, you know the ones that stack on top of each other, and I actually bought them and brought them back, and I'm like, man, this is not gonna work, because I tried to mount them up front in that V nose, and it was making me put my mowers too far back on the trailer, um, and it started kind of making it do this number, you know, tilt back a little bit, and I don't like that. I'm a, you know, I don't like the way it was riding and whatnot, so I took it back, and I got my money back out of them. You know, they got plenty of money out of me. I bought a lot of tools, and I had to buy a, uh, a Milwaukee grinder, an angle grinder for that uh, that sh that All-American sharpener. So I've yet to try it out, but uh, yeah, I bought uh, the Milwaukee angle grinder. Um, you can see it sitting sitting right there. Uh, that's the way this thing works. It's brand new, not even been touched. And the pin goes in here, and then you put you slide it into the to the sharpener, and uh, everything should be working. You know, I thought about maybe putting it on that ledge right there, uh, but uh, yeah, didn't work out very well. It sets up too high. Uh, it's not very comfortable to try to do blades there. So I thought, well, um, since I'm going to be buying that tool chest anyway, it might be. Uh, might be good just to put it on the back of that, you know. So, uh, just wanted to do a little quick one, you know, a little quick information on that. Hopefully, hopefully before too much longer, I can uh, I can uh, get that thing going and maybe do a video, you know, of of how how it works and whatnot. And I've seen, I'm sure you guys have seen a million videos on this thing. My initial thought was to buy the RBG 712. Uh, and I'm sure you guys have seen some reviews and some things. I think uh, Brian at Brian's Lawn Maintenance has a video on on that particular uh, grinder uh, sharpener, and it, it works real well. But it's just very pricey, and I'm, I'm I was thinking I was needing so many other things. I better I better kind of cool it. So I, I just I'll try this out, and if I, I don't like the situation, you know, then maybe maybe I'll. You know rethink it and get something else later but uh, that's it for now guys uh like and subscribe um uh, and uh we'll, we'll see you on the next one guys